Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about, well, both of these really, but mainly the ROG Ally. So I've had this since it came out on release in the UK, probably I think I had it four days after it came out, maybe five days, and it's had a few upgrade dates which everybody knows about. Uh, and the reason I wanted to talk about it specifically with this, I've watched so many videos recently about being compared with the Steam Deck and the Steam Deck coming out on top and all the other things people have issues with their ally and all the other things that are happening. So, but for me, it's all about the weight, the picture quality, the FPS, and the easy use. Now, the Steam Deck didn't would have been better for me had it had Windows 11. I, I have got Windows 11 on this Steam Deck. It's multi-boot. I've got it. It boots into Steam. It boots into Batacera, which is what I've got here on a 512 gig card. And of course, it boots into Windows 11. But Windows 11, hmm, it's not the best version of Windows 11. It doesn't, the games aren't reliable to load and various other things. And for that reason, I bought the Ally because I wanted something that ran Windows 11. Uh, now, I have seen many, many videos on this and people giving it stick because of certain things and it gets warm and the SD cards can fail because it gets hot and then the update is only makes the fans run faster. People need to be a bit more realistic. These are handheld devices. They're going to get warm. You've got so much stuff going on inside one of these that it's going to get hot. This performs almost identically to my to my i7 3060 Ti laptop. In fact, this, this has possibly got one or two frames a second higher. Between the two, this on average gives me between 8 and 10 frames a second more than I get on the Steam Deck. And that's playing a game through Steam on here, not through the Windows 11 and playing it through Windows 11 on this. Also, the fact that it's got a 1080p screen is a no-brainer for me. That's not to say I don't like the Steam Deck, I do. And the Steam Deck's obviously cheaper. This is £699, where the Steam Deck's 540 something I can't remember what the exact price is. And there is a difference in price, obviously. The Steam Deck does what I want it to do. And I use the Steam Deck more now for... Well, I tend to use the Steam Deck for what it's now loaded up, so I play Batacera on here. I have Batacera on here, and then I have all the different consoles. This thing's got, I don't there's a lot of games on here. But this works absolutely flawlessly. I also use this as a PS5 streaming device. And... Also a streaming device for the Xbox. And that's what I tend to use this mainly for. Uh, a lot. The problem, biggest problem I've got is most of my Steam games are, well in fact nearly enough of all my Steam games, are designed for my rig. So they're all sim racing games. Whereas most of my other games that are just Windows 11 loaders are on here. And they're not necessarily on Steam, they're on different things. Now I know... And the fact this has got Armoury Crate, um, which mm, I'm a bit up in the air about this. So it, it's supposed to be a loader of, and the more you put on it, the slower it gets to load. Now, I, it, by default, it loads up. I stopped that happening. So, and I have got all my games on here, but I don't tend to put, when I say them all, I had every game on here, but it seemed to make it slower the more games I put on it. So I tend to just to have things on the actual unit itself, just on the main screen. Um, I'm not going to do a deep dive into this thing because this is just a video to say what, what my opinion is, what I prefer, and I prefer the Ally to the Steam Deck because, there's a lot, because like I said before, it's lighter, the screen's better, and I know a lot of people might not care about that, and it's an individual opinion, isn't it? You can never be wrong on your opinion, it's just your opinion. I'm not saying one's better than the other, I'm just saying in my opinion this is better than the this is better than the Steam Deck. I much prefer the screen. 
you can see the brightness of the screen there's quite a big difference on on the two of them this has its issues obviously one of the main one being that it gets warm but i'm happy playing games at 50 fps and if i've got to hook that up to a, a powerpoint to get that i will do so i can run it at 40 40 watts or 45 watts um I'm happy enough doing that, and that if I run this thing at 45 watts, I can get 60 FPS on virtually every game apart from The Last of Us, uh, part one, that's the only thing I can't get, everything else I can tend to peg to 60, at 1080p, you can't really ask much more than that. Uh, when this thing's docked, the dock's another thing I want to talk about, so the, the all these docks that come out, and if you're on Amazon, they'll tell you the docks um, all work that are for this. Are compatible with and they're not they're just not compatible sure it'll work you can go into it you can dock it you can charge it you can go into it and browse on you you can browse through the menus and you can go into your file explorer and put sd cards in and read them through there the biggest problem you've got is that one thing it doesn't do is give you the full power output it only runs at 25 watts on t on full mode you can't get any more than 25 with any of them docks now i believe if you buy the it's not really a dock is it? it's more like a charging brick with an hdmi output on it that comes from asus i believe that does do it um again i've not got one of them to test i have watched one video i've only seen the one video and it seemed to work perfectly well but i prefer to be able to just slot something into something and leave it like uh at the minute i've got i've got i am running uh but the jsaux dock only because i got it for 20 quid from amazon on the sale and like i say it doesn't give me the 25 watt power output but it does allow me to dock it and obviously if i want to put games on and off take games on and off my sd card or games on and off the hard drive i can just do it that way so from a point of view of ease of use yeah it's great the battery life isn't great but it isn't great on any of them until batteries get to a level where they can make them super super thin we're not going to get to this you're going to have to sacrifice one for the other if you want a small con if you want a light smallish console handheld you're going to have to sacrifice battery life you can't have both you can't have a huge amount of battery life and a very slim console because batteries aren't there yet it's why cars electric cars all look a little bit boxy the electric versions are they're all SUVs because to get the batteries smaller technology has to advance and we're not there yet and when we do I'd imagine that it's going to be everything's going to be better we're going to get three hours battery life out of a handheld but at the minute we're not there and we're not there by a long way there's so many of these things coming out I and Neo seem to bring one out every week and there comes the point of how much you'll spend now. I wouldn't spend more than I've spent on this. Six ninety nine was as much as I'll ever gonna spend on a handheld. I'm not gonna spend a thousand pounds on a handheld or twelve those hundred pounds on a handheld because if I'm spending twelve hundred quid I might have to go and get myself a top of the range laptop. But even then I probably wouldn't do that. My desktop, my main PC, I can stream from that on any of these devices if I want to do so. I'm happy enough at what I've got. But you have to just bear that in mind. For, for point of view value-wise, the Steam Deck's probably better value, apart from the fact it is quite a bit bigger and it is heavier and the screen's only 720p. But if you can live with all them things, then it probably is a better buy for you. But for me, I, I, I'm lucky enough to have both and I've no intention of getting rid of either of them. I'll, I'll keep both because they both do different things for me at the minute. I don't want to have anything else on this. I've got one operating system, and that's Windows 11, whereas I'm happy on the Steam Deck to have the three and just have the boot up for three different operating systems. It works fine for me. So overall conclusion, would I recommend getting one of these if, you're, if I own this? And the answer would be no, because the benefit is probably, for whatever you're going to say, I don't know how much either, we're second-hand now, probably going to get for 500 and... 512 gig one you may be going to get 400 and then you're still going to have to put 299 pounds to get to this and it's just not worth that much of the extra money if you're starting from scratch and you which one would you buy then i'd buy this all day long so that's my two pennies worth obviously it's my opinion that's all i'm gonna there's gonna be more videos coming over the next 
couple of weeks on this i'm going to show you some gameplay from some different games but also i've got some vr headsets i want to review and show you them and also i've got a new steering wheel arriving any day which i'll do a review on and i'm going to do another couple of drone reviews so i've got quite a bit coming up i know i haven't been here for a long time but hopefully i'll be back to making more regular video not like i used to do they're not going to be making two and three a week i'll try and get one a week out so thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day and don't forget if you like the video please subscribe.